Welcome to Investors Insights, episode number 133. Greg and Ashley are out in meeting, so it's just Trey and myself today. Today we'll be discussing oil and also the big week last week with the jobs report and the Fed. As always, if you like what we say, let us know. Uh, if you don't, let us know. Uh, send in your emails and, and comments. Uh, so let's get started. I'm Greg Powell, and this is Investors Insights. You're listening to Investors Insights with President and CEO Greg Powell and the Portfolio Strategy Team at Popland Partners. Three, two. Trey, last week was a pretty big week. It was. It uh, was. First, let's talk about oil. You may have some good points about yeah. oil. Yeah, it was. You know, we've been tracking oil all year. It's been a huge story since the early last year, uh, late last year. Uh, oil prices coming down, and we've been saying, you know, what we've been seeing in the market is that Saudi Arabia is not cutting their production. Well, this over the weekend in an interview with the Financial Times, the head of Saudi Aramco, which is the state-run oil company, mm-hmm. came out and confirmed that. In, line, in words, it's pretty much saying that Saudi Arabia will continue to produce to meet demand, whatever its customers need. So Saudi Arabia, what they're doing is they're producing at a, at a rate just to make sure they hold their market share. Historically, they've cut back production because they wanted to keep prices high. They've, they've changed that policy and pretty much said that they're going to produce, you know, they're going to keep producing, uh, you know, at any price, uh, which was an interesting comment, especially with the OPEC meeting on December 4th. I'm sure there's a lot of OPEC members that are a little frustrated. Saudi Arabia right now, yeah. they don't they don't seem to care. Yeah. <laughs> so the question is, what gives? I mean, who gives? Exactly. And so with oil being at forty four dollars a barrel, uh, you know, I think oil companies were starting to be under pressure, and so they uh, and historically, yeah, Saudi Arabia, the oil ministry even mentioned in the articles in uh, saying that historically the people have relied on them and just kind of assumed that they would cut production. He said, you know, that's not the case anymore. So uh, yes, yeah, someone's going to have to give, and it's quite clear the largest producer is not given. Yeah, uh, so that'll be interesting to watch. Yeah, we're gonna watch that closely. Yeah. Uh, next and, thing is the jobs report. The jobs report uh, came in very strong. Expectations were 190 thousand jobs uh, that were created, and it came out and blew it out of the water. Uh, 271 thousand. Yeah. A huge uh, seven year low on the unemployment rate at five percent. Mm-hmm. And then what's most most important is wage growth. Wage growth came in. Uh, up two and a half percent. That's something that we've been missing. That wage growth. Yeah. That's something the Fed really has been watching closely because that could lead to you know inflation. You know we've seen the jobs numbers come in mm-hmm. lower, but still no wage growth. Uh, so that was an important an important tactic. And we you know as you were talking about, the markets really reacted uh, reacted immediately to it. You know. Yeah, well, December is now a live meeting. I mean, the Fed is looking at that strongly, and um, you know, Yellen and, and all the other ones came out and said, "Wow, this is a good good sign yeah. of the economy." So yeah, we saw that in the the dollar strengthened greatly. It's sitting at a, a dollar just under dollar one point zero seven eight uh, dollars per euro. You know, a year ago we were at dollar thirty, you know, dollar forty. Uh, so now we're seeing the dollar strengthen. Uh, and then on on Friday we also saw small caps outperform large caps, mm-hmm. kind of a, an answer again to a stronger dollar. Multinationals could get hurt, and we saw bond yields trade up. So the market really reacted to this news. It, they're really already pricing in a Fed rate hike, which you know it's not a hundred percent right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it, it's uh, still a lot to look at in mm-hmm. terms of uh, the overall economy. GDP uh, still is on yeah. our radar. Came in low um, yeah. two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, so we're still not seeing earnings come in strong. Yeah. So it'll be uh, it'll be a very very uh, Interesting couple of weeks uh, to see you know how things continue to roll out. Yeah, well, it's a light economic calendar uh, this week. Friday we're looking at retail sales that come out, um, and so again, as always, if you like what we say, let us know and email us with any questions. And have a great week. Thanks. More information at fiplanpartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA, SIPC.